Don't do these five things to a depressed person. If you are living with someone who is depressed at home or at work, or you're suspecting they are depressed, please don't do to them these five things. Number one, don't judge or criticize. Don't judge them. Don't criticize them. People don't choose a toothache. People don't choose a headache. People don't choose cancer. People don't choose heart disease. People don't choose diabetes. They do not choose depression. They are not pretending. They are not acting. They are going through a severe mental illness. Don't judge them. Don't criticize them. Instead, be there for them. Give them the assurance that while you may not fully understand what they are going through, you will stay with them. You will start with them. They can count on you. You are there for them and with them. Let them know. Let that person know. You are there for him. You are there for her. You will start with them no matter how long it takes. Number two. Don't do these five things to a depressed person. Number two. Avoid the tough love approach. Avoid the tough love approach. What's that? You'll get well when you feel like. Hey, you allow them to hit rock bottom to come back to their senses. No, uh, 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 uh. they are not lacking senses. They are mentally ill. The tough love approach is leaving them to fate, leaving them to doom. Hey, we've given up on you. You will recover when you want to. You will get happy when you want to. You will improve your moods when you want to. No, 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 no. That doesn't help them. That makes them sink deeper into depression and you may lose them and end up regretting your behavior instead of the tough love approach listen to them just listen the world is noisy everyone is talking nobody is listening listen to them give them a safe space to vent their frustrations to vent their anger to vent their frustration with life when you listen you said the signal i care when you listen you said the message, I honor you, I respect you, I respect what you're going through. When you listen, they know that somebody can hear them, somebody cares for them. And when you listen, you learn how best to handle them. Because they tell you what they, are, they need. They tell you what they're really going through. Because if you listen, they start to trust you. Just listen. Number three. Don't do these five things to a depressed person. Number three, don't belittle their pain. Don't water down what they're going through. Don't try to say, you know, this is something petty. Everybody goes through depression. Everyone is stressed by life. You know, don't try to belittle their pain, to downplay their pain. You really don't know what they're going through. You don't have a metric for measuring the intensity of their depression or the severity all their depression. You have no idea what they're really going through. So don't try to belittle their pain. A lot of people belittle the pain depressed people are going through just to lose them and then pretend how much they love them and then pretend how much they were there for them. But when these people are going through a lot of pain, asking to see a doctor, asking to be rushed to hospital, they were just buying time. They were taking their time because they belittled, they downplayed what these people are going through. Instead of belittling their pain, try a small gesture. Give them a gift card. Write nice words to them. Buy that gentleman a watch or a belt or a wallet or even a pillow. Buy that girl some roses, some perfumes, some colognes. Write nice words to them. Try something. Take them out for dinner. Take them out for the weekend. Let them know somebody cares for them. Drive with them to the jungle to see the animals. Walk with them in a botanical garden. You have no idea the mere act of walking with them down the riverbank or along a beach. Just such a treat. Just to send a message. Somebody loved you enough. To spend money on you. Somebody loved you enough to sacrifice their time for you. Somebody loved you enough to put their entire salary on you. That message may save a soul. Don't do these five things to a depressed person. Number four. Number four. Avoid offering advice. Unless you are a trained psychiatrist, 
a trained counselor trained in hardening cognitive behavior therapy or mental disorders unless that that's your area of speciality you've taken time to study it avoid offering advice sometimes the advice we give is what destroys because everybody pretends to be an expert when it comes to treating people who are going through depression you're not an expert you're not instead learn about depression take them to a psychiatrist take them to a place where they'll be huddled by professionals people who have huddled this subject for a long time people who have mastered this subject people who know how to handle them they are the best place to deal with them even to be able to measure the severity of what they are going through number five five things you should never do to a depressed person number five avoid making comparison what's that avoid making comparison for example when i lost my mother i didn't go berserk when i lost my son when i lost my daughter i didn't behave the way you're behaving when i lost my job when i lost my house when my ha when i was evicted from my house i was still composed i didn't act the way you are acting when my relationship broke i worked no that's making comparison excuse me your mother is not my mother you have no idea about my relationship with my daughter you have no idea about my relationship with my son or my grandmother your grandfather is not my grandfather the loss of your grandfather is not the loss of my grandfather why because you have no idea how i related with him for some people their grandmother is their mother relationships are very different we are invested differently you know our contextual realities are so different your job loss is not my job loss your business loss is not my business loss you don't know how much i've invested in my marriage your marriage breaking is not the same as my marriage breaking yes you know for me for example losing a job doesn't mean anything honestly without due respect if i got a job i've never had a formal job if i got a job and somebody threatened to fire me I don't care that much but for somebody else a job loss is the world to them it's everything to them well i never lived with my grandparents i love them but the loss of my grandparents is not that much to me but for my wife mercy her grandmother means so much to her they were v she's very very close to her grandmother that's not the case with me so her grandmother is not the same as my grandmother that's what I'm talking about. Similarly, you don't know how much I've invested in my marriage. There are some people, their marriage was not even a marriage in the first place. And so they hear somebody has lost a marriage and they wonder why they are depressed over their marriage. For me, my marriage is everything. Job doesn't mean much to me. The loss of my grandparents, well, I said rest in peace. That's all. That's all. We were not so close. I was not close to my grandparents, both sides. I lost my grandparents, both sides. I didn't cry. It's not that I didn't love them. It is simple because we are not close. I didn't grow up with my grandparents. So my grandparents are not your grandparents. So don't compare stuff. Don't compare people, even illnesses. Somebody can be sick at a critical time when they are the only breadwinner in that home. So your sickness is not my sickness. Avoid making comparison. Instead, be patient with a depressed person. Be patient with them. Let them know no matter how long it's going to take, you will be there with them and for them. Let them know you will never give up on them no matter how long they take to recover. You will always be there for them and with them. Let me suggest this to you. There is a video I did called, or rather dubbed, Don't Tell a Depressed Person These 10 Things. Please look for it. Because there are some statements we make to depressed people and it breaks their heart apart. It takes them, it sets them straight to the graveyard. So please go to my YouTube channel and look for a video dubbed, Don't Tell a Depressed Person These 10 Things. That will be a life saving video. I've given you the exact words to say and the words not to say to someone who is struggling and wrestling with depression. Please, if this video blessed you, let me know your thoughts. Give me a comment. If you have a question, post it as a comment in this video. And I'm going to do my very best to scroll through your comments and answer as many questions as possible. Let's engage. And if this video blessed you, share it with someone else. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
That way you also inspire me to continue producing this content for you. When you subscribe, I know I'm blessing you. I know I'm reaching you. And that's the easiest way to inspire me to continue producing such content. Thank you very much. And if you are the one going through depression, please look for professional help. Remember, it's your responsibility to look for help. You are never meant to walk through this life all by yourself. People are willing to help you, but you've got to reach out for help. Thank you so much. And God bless you. I wish you the very best. I wish you quick recovery if you're going through depression. And if your loved one is going through depression, please reach out for help. Someone is ready and equipped to help them. If only you can reach out for help. Thank you and God bless you.